Yep. Uh, it's very difficult. You know, um, I've worked so hard to, to try and become a, a champion at the highest levels for a really long time. And, you know, it hasn't really worked out for me. You know, um, this one's tough. You know, I truly believe that I can get the job done. I thought I could get the job done. And as we were fighting, you know, it, it still felt pretty good. Daniel Cormier was born in Lafayette, Louisiana. Though he excelled in numerous sports, his true love was wrestling. You know, John and his coaches did a great job of coming up with a game plan. Uh, early in the fight, he was hitting me with like, le like uh, left hooks or right hooks to the body. And as the fight progressed, he started throwing them a little straighter, and, and that, that knee actually, uh, that knee really did take a lot out of me early, I guess. But I feel fine, you know. I'll take some time and spend some time with my children and my family, and then I'll come back. Once I found wrestling, though, man, that was it. On the wrestling mat, however hard I worked, I would see the success. Success on the sports field masked a series of losses off of it, where in the span of a year, Cormier lost both a cousin and a teammate in separate auto accidents. Looking back on it now as an adult, I can understand the emotion that I was going through more than I did then. Because then you're young, you're angry, you're mad. You know, it's like, in reality, we probably should have took some time to, to mourn and, and figure out what was going on, understand our emotions. I think an airplane crashed across the road in the pasture from my house. With this bulletin, one of three planes returning the Oklahoma State University basketball team and its staff has not returned after a game against Colorado tonight. Uh, there were two student athletes, Oklahoma State student athletes, Dan Lawson and Nate Fleming. Uh, it was sad, man. It was very sad. My mom is like very, very religious. She always tried to instill belief that God has a plan. On a warm summer day in Texas, just three months after Caden was born, Cormier got the worst call of his life. So I called the highway patrol. I asked, I asked if there had been any accidents, and they called me back and told me that there was an accident um, and that Caden uh, was the only uh, fatality. An 18-wheeler struck the car Caden rode in from behind killing her instantly. There's nothing like it. You just feel like you, everything's, every, nothing matters anymore. At that point, you start to question why. Why does this stuff keep happening to me? Why don't I deserve to be completely happy? And I was just in a house in a room. I put black curtains up, stayed in the room for a month, crying, sad. I was aware that I was losing. Um, you know, I, I thought the first round he did well, uh, and towards the end of the round, I started kind of gaining a little momentum. I thought second round, I fought pretty well. Finally, Coach Smith called me, and he said, Daniel, you know, there's nothing I can do to make you feel better. He goes, but at the end of the day, the one thing that you can rely on, that you've always relied on, is this sport. Let it try and help you get through this and start trying to honor your daughter through your goals. You know, I know I lost, and um, John won. That's pretty much all it boils down to. It doesn't matter if it's closer or if it's, if it's, uh, if it's, if it's not. You know, he won the fight. Cormier achieved one of those goals when he was named to the U.S. Olympic wrestling team. After finishing fourth in the 2004 games, Cormier had his sights set on gold in 2008. But the day before his competition, Cormier's body betrayed him. I'm going to stand across the cage from that man again, and uh, I'll believe just as I did tonight, and I'll take the fight to him again, I guess. Thank you for being so candid. And last, how do you feel? <clears throat> I want to first uh, start by apologizing to to um, all the fans, all the fans who came out to support me for UFC 200.
David, come on. Come on. Fuck, I'm so sorry. All the staff of the UFC. Um, Daniel Cormier. I want to apologize to Daniel Cormier. I know that uh, this fight means a lot to him. The fight meant a lot to me, and the fight's not happening. So, just really want to apologize to everybody sincerely. Uh, oh, man, I'm so I know, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, is there anything I can do, like, outside the release, and we can just fight? I can't do it. That's a bummer. You know, I didn't have to beat him to become champion because he beat himself. What do you see in a fighter? For Cormier, it's what you don't see that defines him. His pain, his heartache, everything that he's lost. It would drive me, you know, now it's, it's whatever, you know. I am the champion. It doesn't matter what John Jones says. I am the champion. I'm going to remain the champion next weekend, and I can finally put this little chapter in a long storied career behind me. This is a different situation we're in this time. I've been the UFC champion for two years. He has the belt, he's not the champion. Who are you to say who's the champion? You're some guy that doesn't even fight. Coming up in one week, what can the fans expect to see from you? The best version of me that they've ever seen. Um, what they can expect is John trying to grab and hold onto me a lot faster this time because I'm gonna punch him in his face the moment they say fight. I have everything in this world that I have ever wanted. I go home to my beautiful wife and my children. And I was not responsible for the things that he did. It's not the narrative. Nobody cares about the narrative anymore. I don't care about your punishments. I don't care about your, your, the stuff you do outside of the octagon. All I care about is you showing up on July 29th and you and I getting the fight again. Good, step back, good luck. That's all I've cared about for two and a half years. All this other does not matter. Don't feel sorry for me. I don't want your pity. What I'm gonna take is your respect. Let's go, champ! Come on! Cormier once again sends Jones retreating. He's just having a hard time reaching Jones. Oh, shot in the back He's hurt. He's still stunned by that head kick. and get beaten, I'll ship you back to Albuquerque. John Jones needs me. Trying to press the issue here. Cormier is down. Not yet. Cormier's in big, big trouble. And John is all over him. Here comes Charlie Bones with the ground and pound. Cormier. Regardless of what I'm dealing with, it pales in comparison to some of the things that I've had to experience in the course of my life. It's a fight. It's a competition. I don't I mean... What's the worst that could happen? I lose. I'll take that all day. As long as I have my kids and my family to go home to, I'm good.